Hi, this is Alan Olson, and welcome to American Dreams. I'm visiting here today with Kathleen Adams. Kathleen, welcome to today's show. Thank you, Alan, and thank you so much for having me on. So, Kathleen, uh, you're a financial planner and also the founder of Second Fifty. Correct. What is Second? How'd you come up with the name Second Fifty? <laughs> Second Fifty is really all about reframing how people think about being in their second 50 years, meaning I don't want them to think about it as their second half. And I don't want people to have a clock in their heads based on their parents and their grandparents because it's not who we are. So second 50 is about helping boomers think, plan, and invest differently by changing the mindset. Hmm. So uh, how long have you been into this uh the the second 54 what what led you into starting this company we we actually work with a great many people in their second 50 years and they seem to be naturally attracted to us now but it really did all start with my dad he had a really uh, amazing career great lifestyle as a dentist and he gave us a great lifestyle as his daughters and he didn't it didn't go well when he tried to get out it wasn't successful and, you know, I just got, I really couldn't believe that because he had a, a long time advisors of tax and insurance and banking, but no one looked at that big picture for him. And he was just such a great lover of life. It just didn't seem right that he couldn't have a lifestyle he wanted. So let's walk through the, the, the process or the, how you serve a client. A new client comes into Second 50. What is your process then? You know, so the process sort of evolves around three questions that we talk to them about. And the first one is, you know, how are you set up or do you have concerns about financially managing this time frame? So for many, many people, they know that work will probably be ending soon or it has ended. It's a very scary time. The second question is, what do you really want now? So that involves the lifestyle. Um, is it just going to be golf and grandchildren and travel? Or is there something more that they want to do? So, so what do you really want now? And then third is, um, you know, do you, do you feel comfortable that you're going to show up with the energy and vitality to enjoy it? How do you feel about yourself and your health right now? So that's what it starts with. You know, the, that we we live in these uh, volatile times. I'll, I'll say with the stock market coming and up and then dropping back down. And and how do you reassure clients uh, with a sound financial plan? So planning has become a game plan, first of all. So it's very flexible and it's changeable, and it has to be because of today's world, right? The volatility and um, complexity is unbelievable. So I think what really helps people gain financial confidence, which is the first phase of planning, is to think about your personal economy, not the world's economy, and certainly not the world's geopolitical situation. So if you think about your own personal economy, that means know your numbers, know your numbers you know, get a lot of clarity. And that tends to bring confidence. So when the worst things hit, there are things that we can control and things we cannot control. And we'll know the difference um, in, in what we're going to be able to do. Is there any main area of concern that your clients express to you when looking at the planning phase? Two areas. The one area is just, I don't want to run out of money. And even the wealthiest clients think about it because you've spent all this time creating and developing wealth. And typically during this time, you have to think about using it, right? So you're taking it back out. And the majority of my families have done really well and they want to help their children. They love doing things with their children and maybe want to take advantage of some opportunities. So they worry about running out of money and they want to know what the strategy is for that. And, uh, th and that's a big one. That's a big one if we're going to be living longer. But you know what? The second thing is people are very concerned about getting dementia or Alzheimer's. So that comes up in relation to not only planning and dollars, but uh, how am I going to get through that time and, 
can make sure that I'm taken care of. So, so when uh, when looking at a financial plan, then um, do you feel it's a good thing for clients not only to, you know, when they're planning about getting dementia or this health care to, to carry some type of insurance coverage? You know, it's different for every client, what they need to do. I think the main thing is getting complete clarity. So if you can sit down and look at your numbers and look at strategic ideas of how to set things up and look at tax, look at all the things that people worry about. Look at your estate plan, which will help you see how you might manage if something's wrong with you, but you're still alive. So, you know, there's a lot of different pieces and it, sometimes insurance plays a portion in there. It just really depends on the client. But the clarity and the numbers and strategy with a plan B is really, it's it's what comforts people and helps them feel like they have control. Is there a certain qualifying dollar amount that you would like clients have before they walk into your door? You know, it's more about complexity and net worth, because some people don't need the degree of planning that we offer. You know, and there are people that just have a pension or just going to have pension and social security, and they have a very simple life. Um, that they, they don't need our degree of planning. However, I will say that we really enjoy seeing if we can provide value. So if anyone does want to have a conversation, we really don't say no to that. Uh, but that's probably the qualifier. And Kathleen, how does a person find you? So to find me, it's just my website is usually the easiest way or LinkedIn um, because you can email any of us directly. And I have a business partner, David Swift. I work very closely with him. And uh, one or both of us are typically available. And as I said, just to have a conversation. Very good. Well, Kathleen, thanks for being on today's show. And we'll... Uh, We'll include the link to your websites inside of our uh, inside of our show today. That's phenomenal. And Alan, can I um, add one more thing? Would it be okay? Absolutely. I I'm so anxious to talk to people that are interested in living a different kind of second fifty. So even people that aren't interested in planning, I I would love for the boomers to come together and perhaps think about doing something bigger and better with their life. And I'm hoping to start a Second 50 movement. So, I love it. yeah, I love if it. anyone um, thinks they have an interest in that, that's a great reason to contact me as well. I'd love to talk. Mm -hmm. Do you like to connect through LinkedIn or uh, just phone or what? Both. Any, any of that is fine. Email on my website or uh, LinkedIn. LinkedIn is great too. Yep. Very good. All right, Kathleen, thanks for being with us today. Thank you so much, Alan. Appreciate it.